The group Scouting for Girls have been confirmed as the headline act for the Lee Stock Festival in Sudbury this spring. The annual event is organised uh, every year by Peter Keogh, who's on the line to tell us more. Pete, a very good evening to you. Good evening, Stephen. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Great headlining act, Scouting for Girls. Yes, we were pretty pleased when we managed to secure them. Obviously, on the back of uh, the Lightning Seeds last year, to get Scouting for Girls this year has been a a real boom and hopefully something that's going to get a lot of people down and we'll get record numbers down. There can't be many people listening who haven't heard of the Lee Stock Festival, but for those that uh, perhaps don't know much about it, just recap on, on how it began and why. Yeah, of course. Um, It's actually all held in memory of my little brother's friend, Lee Dunford, who sadly passed away um, at the age of 21 um, in 2006. Um, And when he uh, died, uh, we decided to put on a gig in his memory and sort of get a few bands down. And we held it at Village Hall um, and it went very well. And we raised some money for the Willow Foundation, who are a charity who provides special days for seriously all young adults between the ages of 18 and 40. Um, and it helped Lee by getting him and his band to record a CD in London. Um, and that gig went really well. So we decided to sort of carry on and, and do it the next year. And it's it's grown and grown uh, to the point that um, we're now at um, in the grounds of Melford Hall in Long Melford. Um, and we've raised over £50,000 for the Willow Foundation all in Lee's name. So it's, it's great to be here. And you've had some really big acts. You mentioned the Lightning Seeds, uh, Scouting for Girls for 2015. What about some of the others? Yeah, so we've had um, Top Loader, Space. Um, we even got Wheatus over from America one year when we uh, did it at AFC Sudbury and Sudbury as well. So, yeah, it's been really nice. We, 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 we still do all the local acts. We get a lot of local acts um, involved. We still have a battle of the bands at the um, the local school. Who um, the winner of that opens the festival, but it's nice to you know give them a chance to play on a big stage with um, you know these big acts, these big you know sort of top ten um, number one acts, um, like for instance Top Loader and Lightning Seeds. A great roster from from down the years, and of course uh, you've got plenty to add to this year's as well. Yes, yeah, again, that you know, that's it. We've we've got the full band announcement. Hopefully, will be within the next week. Um, but we've got a sort of similar blend to that we've had previous years, where we have a lot of local acts, you know, regional acts. Um, but we have bands come from as far as kind of Scotland and Wales to play. Um, the Saturday's always a bit more upbeat and a bit more kind of um, you know sort of uh, band music whereas the Sunday tends to be a lot more acoustic and chilled and the whole event you know because ultimately it is a a, a memorial to to Lee as much as anything does have a very family atmosphere to it and we've kind of embraced that over the last couple of years by introducing a family area where there's face painting and um, bouncy castles and things like that as well Um, but that sort of sits alongside the you know the bar and um, you know means that you get a nice family event to the whole thing. And Lee's family must be delighted with how this festival has grown. Definitely, yeah. I mean, Lee is, is you know, he's um, eponymous to the festival. It is, you know, it is all about him and his, his family and friends are key to, to everything that we do. Um, Lee's mum and dad, Rob and Rose, um, we run every decision that we make past them. Um, they have final approval on um, all the bands that we have played there, including the uh, headline acts. Um, and, you know, they're... they're fundamental to you know their energy you know and and their love for Lee kind of carries the whole thing along and they do a lot themselves in terms of fundraising they put on a ball um, a couple of years back to raise money for Willow as well Um, and yeah they're they're involved with everything that we do Rob and Rose and you know they're they're lovely people and it it makes you know it makes it easy to to keep being involved it's a lot of hard work to do but you know when you see you know what you're doing for them to help them remember their son it, it makes it all worthwhile. Are the dates for this year? It's the bank holiday weekend in May the 23rd and 24th of May. Um, we do have, for the for the second year running, we've got camping on site as well, which was a great success last year. Obviously, you don't often get the chance to camp in the grounds of a, of a National Trust Hall, so it's a, it's a great thing to have that there. We've got Saturday and Sunday tickets um, individually on sale, um, and um, they're available through the, the website, leestock.org, um, or also the, the White Horse in Sudbury, and we've also got, obviously got our Facebook pages as well. Pete, we'll talk to you again, I'm sure, in the, in the weeks and months leading up to it. In the meantime, uh, thank you for joining us and have a great weekend. No problem. Thank you, Stephen. All the best. That's uh, Peter Keogh, organiser, one of the organisers of the Lee Stock Festival at Long Melford near Sudbury in the spring.